Wise Men Christopher moves throughout the congregation ministering prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. As he does so, the foundations of the problems in the lives of the people begin to crumble. All power in heaven and on earth has been invested in that name Jesus Christ. At the mention of the name Jesus Christ, every force of the adversary has to bow. As wise man Christopher moved along one of the rows, he encounters this man, and the evil spirit is exposed and begins to verbalize its destructive plans. Let's watch what happens next. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Pick out who are you. Why do you want to know? Jesus wants talk in the name of Jesus. Who are you? I told you that we want to destroy his life. How many of you? You said we. How many of you? We are many. Make sure your names. I'm the wife. She's a family. One. Idol from his family, his father's height. Two. Who else? We've been sent to destroy his life. We want to save God. We are agent of Lucifer. You are agent of who? Lucifer. We want to kill him. Why does he want to save God? In his family, he's the only one. He wants to save God. Why? Why? We want to destroy his life. How do you want to go about it? We want to kill him. What means? Have you chosen to destroy him? What are the methods? We wanted to kill him by accident. When he was coming here, he was involved in two accidents, but he didn't die. He would be praying every day. Why? Why? What Why? stopped you from killing him through accident? He's been praying. He, he, he always has anointing, anointing water with him. Why? Why? He always has what? That water. How does prayer affect you? You say you've been praying with anointing water. How does prayer Don't you know that is fire? Destroy our kingdom. Look at this. I don't want to look at this thing. Why? Why do you want me to look at it? What is in it that is against you? We don't like it. It's fire. That is fire. Is it the same anointing water that stopped you from killing him? Through, yes, yes, through yes. Accident? Yes. It's the same thing. It's the same one. You say you're an agent of Lucifer. Yes. Where do you operate from? We've, we've got so many strategies that we use on him. We, we sleep with him he, he, in the dream. When he's sleeping, he'll wake up. Then he realizes that we've come. And he always wake up at night waiting for us to come so that he can pray. But we never appear to him. He thinks that he's smart. We are smarter than him. So sometimes he doesn't sleep. He will just be awake to see if he will come. Any five minutes when he pass out, we come and we sleep with him. Yes, we don't want him to serve God. Why? When he was coming here, we did everything possible to send him to jail. He spent two weeks in jail. He was detained at he immigration. Spent how many weeks? Two weeks in, in, in jail in, in South Africa. He was detained. We did it. We don't want him to get delivered. When we sleep with him, he can't do anything. When he wake up, he can't pray. He cannot sometimes even serve. He serves in a church. He's committed. But he can't even serve. When it's time to go to church, you'll just be feeling anyhow. We put sickness in him, severe headache. And then he'll be struggling. His career, he's been working, doing everything. He will not make it in life. He has heart to help people. We want to prevent him of coming here. First, when he decided, made up his mind to come here, his passport, he couldn't find it. Who hid the passport? Ah, we did. How? We could see what he's planning to do. So we hid the passport. And then he managed, he was praying, fasting, fasting. He got the passport. He was arranging his document. We, we stopped the document at, at Home Affairs, South Africa. He wants to come here and get delivered. For what? Finally, he managed to do an uh, uh, emergency travel document. When he get to the airport, by the time he got there, the guy says, you stop there. See, you stop there. They took him to jail. He was crying.